I want to see the Alliance map. Python received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. I'll make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. of King Alfred's power, where hawk shit stained my boots. I will find the man in white in their god's house. Go, Sunan. <laughs> this must be the house of their timid god. They built him a rich dwelling. The Lord takes the best of us to serve him. A Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It's you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. Why deny the pleadings of an unwashed pagan who aches to know God? Take me as I am, and I will do your lord's bidding. How great is the burden of learning for one so unworthy. But I see that no amount of instruction in the lord's words will save your soul. Come. Who am I to meet, priest? I cannot stand waiting in silence. Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush! Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here! May Christ, whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that whelp from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex. But it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. 
Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this order? Only this and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs, free men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aylfirth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your god. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. You have faced warriors like me many times before, and many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive, nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun, before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust? Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, Great King. But the day will come. That Selwyn's got some stones on him arresting Alfred's man. Who rules in Winchester anyway? Is Alfred king or not? Well, you ain't, that's for sure. So keep your mouth shut. Do as you want. Goodwin gone, and guards sniffing around. So where would they have taken him? Give me Alfred's jewel, I will. I shall whittle in your... Someone disagrees with Alfred educating the people of Winchester. Papers thrown on the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks, or the guards destroying evidence. Broken balls. Food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. We we shouldn't shouldn't love love our our
do you see, Sunan? Thick walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. A Dane in Winchester? These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I will find your research. Now go before they find their wolf has fled his cage. Let's regroup beyond the walls! Goodwin's research against the Order of Ancients. Winchester Moore, I am grateful for your help. It's a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favored reef. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They're dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name doesn't rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the Sikhs. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun-groper.
I found this nailed on a door. The quill wields words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. The gallows? What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course! That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. Good people of Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylfer, our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aylfer was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. No longer freedom in Winchester. None are safe from his blade. In the grain store, Alfred has set the traps. You cannot steal and be welcome at our hearts. Hang on. I will kill you for this. Protect your soul and punish his criminals as it should be. Perverter of justice. Who dares execute the king's noose? 
It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table, where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand with an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freed men, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. Magister Batter not to teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? It may be I should take my Dane guild now, leave you to the snakes that remain. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion. But English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more from the writings I found? I did. The Quill is calling the children of Winchester to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets. Feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your sex and mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve. Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it'll keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you! Spry little mouse, will you lead me to your quill? Oh, God! 
Stop struggling and give back that apple. Cowbreath? You little street rat. No! Stealing apples, eh? Fruit don't feed a grown boy. Do you have any chicken? I don't, but maybe you can tell me what you know of the quill. The quill? God blimey, you're brave. Find Alwyn and Wigbert. They see everything. God's beard! You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly poly mutton man! You can't catch me! God help me. I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. You again? You should mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wheel fire like the flaming Jotna. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well... You great moon calf. Hand it over, Alwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? Turn around, walk away, and you keep your insides inside. All right, all right. No harm meant. Stay out of trouble, you grub mite. Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? I'm looking for the quill. So I'm asking you, this little worker beast. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? Those were the quill's meat mops. And you sent them scurrying off with their tails between their legs. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you're not working for the Quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give her what you took. Maybe she can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. Ooh, I should watch out for a mouse trap. Now, Elwyn, 
Few have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A broodmare who preys on innocence and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! Ilfra's roof. Does she flee to the bishop's house? will give you a treat. Coward! Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until you're seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart. I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you can't. You have corrupted too many to save too few. My order is the only way forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence.
Hey, they see it? I'm hey, feeling a bit dry oh, over here. Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I have been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I said easy with my kinsbane. Old honey waves alive in my horn. And my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. I could use someone like you in my settlement, with ink on his fingers and a sense of honor. I would love to devote myself to the study and practice of the law. There is a weariness in war I wish I could shake off. Impossible. Even in death, our battles will rage on. It's the way of things. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Seeks is dead? The Bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the Bishop was the Seeks, the Seeks is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I don't believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought players and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. <laughs> If the bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. Did you know Bishop Ilfrith? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. Oh, poor Ailfrith, scorched of face. Grant my brother Ailfrith, eternal bliss, bold, where violent, joy endures weeping, for all those beloved of God. As you are, uh, Sleeping? Oh, yeah, perfect, yes. Only his face was burned. That seems like a strange accident. And this corpse's build is slight, frail. Goodwin said Ilfirth was a brute. A peasant's clothes. Strange discovery in a churchyard. A stranger comes to Wember. You do not mourn like they do. Wember is always here. Helping the sleeping, singing to them, so they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wimber helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Elfirth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. Layoff. What happened to him? Sleeping. Sleeping like my dog when I hooked him too hard. Someone hurt Layoff? I saw a pile of dirty clothes just here. Is your friend Layoff a beggar? Yes. Yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. Not just stolen, but burnt. This funeral is a shadow play. The Order killed an innocent, burned his face so no one could tell, and interred him in Eelfirth's place. His sister knows more than she lets on. Leave me to my grief! A pretty show you have laid on here, but I know the truth. You would dare speak to me? 
When my poor brother Aelferth lies cold in his shroud. Your brother is the Seeks, and no more dead than I am. Heresy. My brother was the Bishop of Winchester. When Goodwin got too close to the truth about your brother's place in the Order, you buried him. Or rather, you buried another in his place. The poor gravedigger's friend, burning his face so no one would know. How did you... No, I... I... Your brother is not in that crypt. Tell me where he is before more lives are lost. I will not tell you any more. Guards! All right, all right, have your way. They won't do you any good. Guards, protect me! With me! Oh. Oh. Why are you doing this? Enough of this, Cat and Mouse. Where is your brother, the one that called the Seeks? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred? Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. Must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Not priest, clerk, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken? is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's Wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy man to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us.
Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the old minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. Dane, my brother served God. He was not a Christian. He abhorred your God. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness, but this damned order... Their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. sister spoke true, I will find answers in the ruins. This must be it. The door to Ilfirth's secrets. I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. Everything they did was to undermine Elfred. She lied to me. There is nothing here of the Order. I should see Elfred for my reward. Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. 
You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Damn you, Alfred! Turn to Hytham and Ranvi. They will want to know what happened here. Good day, my... The Order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred? The line between friend and enemy is a porous one. You will want to speak to him yourself. Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory. I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more. On my final voyage back to Norway, to wish my father farewell and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. Good to see you, darling. I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... ...and beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care.
We'll leave now, and return as soon as we're able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. begins a long time ago at a desert oasis far away a place of mystery one now this one, this one begins a long time ago i cleared winchester of the order yet to do so meant working with king alfred your poor fellow soldier led you to the king of wessex how very strange he or she is toying with you it seems Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. Another one? You are certainly proficient. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. You have done well, but there are more still. I have to go. Then go in peace. Sigurd. Shall we then, Eivor? To Norway, and well beyond. To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! strange. Little has changed, but it feels... Our few years abroad have shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. But it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. Father, his fool, poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hold the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lap dog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. Or it may be you'll light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. 
If I do, I'll stoke that flame Please until it burns. Make for the dark. Eivor, lakkum skiviki. Have a look, Sunan. What was it Ranvi said? Our father spends his days in the What was it Ranvi said? Our father spends his days in the meat holes and his that nights in barren so patch of wood. He never That's right. We'll From sun up to sun down. Like he just... We should go. Look at him. Father. Sigurd? My son, Eivor. By Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? Interest you? You robbed me of my wealth when you left for England. I presume you would do it again. Not my idea. You left us with nothing when you pledged for King Harald. We took only what we deserved. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only, to say goodbye, and to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. It was your right to pledge your crown to another. And I know you did what you thought best for the safety of our clan. As Harald's forces advanced, I knew we did not have the strength to oppose him. We were too disorganized, too weak. With the sun ever absent, always off raiding in some far-flung land, never concerned with the duties of kingship. What choice did I have but to pledge my allegiance to him? A man with ambition and an army to match it. Absent? I acted only as the son of a king must. To earn you riches, to bring you glory, to praise your name. The people of Constantinople had no use for my name, Sigurd. I needed you here. Listen to this weeping old goat. I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate, to save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... He was, uh... He loved you. That is all. Arkur nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd, from the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. 
But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He is my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. This sad business is finished. Good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The Saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know. You're not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir. The branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Off we go. Let the sail out! Daughters of Aegir, bless our passage. Yes, I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the Elf King, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he'll push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England. We stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful feud. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. She was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him, and no one believed us when we were young, 
and we chiseled our plants onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the Sigurd I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I am with you, brother. Until the end. A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! You know the way! As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To perish on a lonely fjord would be the shame of our clan. Ha! That we would! Thank you.